What kind of engine is this? Mm, Atlas. Alright guys, so currently I'm mocking up the front accessories and as you know on an LQ4, LQ9 block if you're trying to put LS1, LS2 style accessories you need to drill out the, uh, the plug here that's on the block so you can mount the alternator. <clears throat> so uh, what I did is I took the alternator, mounted it in place, I put a piece of tape so that I can run a sharpie through the hole, mark it, center punched it, and now I'm going to drill the hole and tap it. And um, you can buy the uh, drill and tap. I got this one from uh, Lowe's, and they sell that as a package already ready to go. It's, uh, let me grab the package actually. So it's made by Irwin comes with the uh, 10 millimeter by 1.5 inch tap and a drill bit all ready to go in a complete package and it's 10 bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the bit for depth Right, holes drilled. All right, hole is tapped. Clean that thing out a little bit and let's see if it worked. Drilled and tapped. And we'll knock that off the list. All right guys, it's time to do the valve spring upgrade. I chose to do it while the head is still, I mean, while the head is installed. I could have done it when they had the heads off, um, but uh, I didn't get a chance. I was kind of in a rush just to get the engine closed up. I'm going to set up my tool over the valve spring. And this is just a, a valve spring compressor tool that I got on Amazon. I think it was 18 or 20 bucks, something like that. I mean, I've, I've seen people, some people make their own. Um, I guess it all just depends on what you have access to. Right. I'm going to take my compressed air fitting, screw it into the spark plug port. And okay, we're now compressed. I am compressing the spring now past the keepers. Grab your magnet. Get these things out of here. 
Now we can go ahead and relieve the spring. Remove the seal. Okay. Gonna take a new base, slide it down with the lip up. New guide. I like to put a dab of oil slip it over I'm using a 916 socket and you'll hear the uh, the pitch change once it bottoms out right there. So it's just more of a solid feel. Get our new valve spring, slip it over. We got our top, slip that over, lift up the tool, put it in place and start to screw down. You want to try and keep the, uh, the spring centered with the valve. Right. Grab your new keepers. this thing back up till it catches there we go another one down move the tool and move over to the next valve spring so I'm gonna go ahead and knock all of these out same thing for the uh, driver side and get back to you Alright guys, it's time to install the rocker arms. I got them all laid out. You got your exhaust side here, intake side is here. The exhaust valve are straight on, and the intake side is offset. Right, if you can see the difference on camera. Intake, exhaust, got Loctite for the bolts, thread sealant. So because these heads are CNC ported, the intake, I guess the program that they use, the CNC program they use, it goes through on the intake runner, so you need to use thread sealant. Got my push rods over here in the corner, and uh, we'll get started now. All right, so first things first, what I like to use is, got my oil, I'm just gonna take each push rod, I'm going to dip it into the oil, slide it into place. You can feel it kind of slip in when you put the push rod in. Alright, got our last one here. Okay, we're all slipped in. Okay. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ultra slick and just put it on the top of each valve. I'm just gonna brush it on so that we're not binding metal to metal. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top of the push rod as well. So we're just gonna, just brushing the top of the push rods and the valves. And this is just for that initial startup until oil gets to the top of the engine to lubricate everything. All right, looks like we're pretty good there. Now we can go ahead and start installing the rocker arms. So we got our first intake right here. I'm just going to slide it through. Get the flat part of the rocker arm. I did the Trunian upgrade already. So these are good to go. Slide the bolt in. Just going to run some thread sealant around the bolt threads. That's just to uh, create a barrier. All right, I'm going to slide the I'm going to slide the intake rocker in first. Just making sure it goes over the push rod. I'm just going to snug it up, move on to the next one. Good. And now we're going to do the last exhaust port here. So on the exhaust side, I'm just putting a little bit of Loctite on it. And on the intake side, I'm using the thread sealant. And just doing it like this kind of helps keep this uh, this brace up in place while you get the other rockers, rocker arms on. Okay. Now we can just kind of go in sequence now. We got our torque wrench now, set to 22 foot-pounds, that's good. And I'm just going to start from the center and then work my way out. Get the rocker arms uh, completed. So uh, what I'll do next is I'm going to rotate the engine a couple times by hand, and then recheck the uh, the torque specs. All right, we're at the final stage. Gonna throw on the valve covers, intake manifold, and then mount the accessories up. And let's see how this thing looks.
right guys coming up on the next video we're gonna go ahead and install the subframe that's right over here onto the engine that's on the engine stand before I put it in the car this Hawk performance kit comes with a cutout for the AC compressor and that's gonna go somewhere here so we're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, engine mounts we'll go ahead and cut out and then weld in this plate and go from there stay tuned guys